Hey guys, welcome back to a Waller and Weapons Guide. In this guide, we shall take a look at the classic pistol from Valorant. In simple words, this gun is basically the Glock 18 from CSGO. It's trash, but it is still usable to a smaller extent. In this game, the range reduction works differently. The gun deals the same damage throughout the specified range. This gun is a default pistol, so you don't have to buy it. It deals 26 damage to the body, 78 to the head and 22 to the leg throughout this range. So it deals the said damage even when the enemy is up close. After this range however, it deals only 66 damage to the head, 22 to the body and 18 to the leg. The maximum range that Valorant has defined seems to be 50 meters. Even in the buy menu you can see that the maximum range they specify is 50. Maybe this is because the longest distance between two points in every map is always less than 50 meters. It's just a point to note. It has a fire rate of 6.75 rounds per second. That's pretty fast. The accuracy of the gun seems to fall off at around 30 meters and by a lot compared to other pistols. Here's the comparison between 10, 20 and 30 meters per shot accuracy. And you can decide based on that. You may, you may uh, find that you're missing more shots than you should. It's probably because the accuracy is uh, quite varying at range. One good thing about this gun is that the alternate firing mode has a very good jumping accuracy. The alternate firing mode, uh, it, it, it's a mode that shoots 3 bullets per trigger, it's a burst fire mode, it, it has a fire rate of 2.22 rounds per second. And it's quite useful at close range, but even at close range, you're still better off with the headshot from a different gun rather than this gun. Of course, if all the 3 pellets land on the head, it's, it's, it's an instant kill, but that's quite difficult because the spray of this alternate burst firing mode is quite large. The gun has 12 bullets in a mag and as I stated earlier, you can jump fire, you can jump shot and kill people with this gun using the alternate firing mode. It has a pretty good jumping accuracy, probably 100% if I'm correct. If you're using only the single shot mode, uh, it would be quite difficult to kill an enemy with this gun if the enemy has armor. I honestly quite recommend buying a different gun at the start of the round unless you are one of those guys who wants to just jump and uh, jump around and keep uh, jumping and killing. In that case this gun is probably the only gun which has a good jumping accuracy. And yeah I mean that's all there is to it. Valorant has a very simple damage calculator and range modifiers. Uh, and since the concept of armor is basically extra health like Apex, there is no armor penetration involved like CS does. So at range it deals the same damage even to an armored opponent, it's just that armor acts as extra health rather than some sort of a damage reducing device. Anyways, I still suggest you to buy a different pistol at the start of the game if you are more about those headshots. This gun is basically a Glock but a lot worse for headshots but a still pretty good gun if you are a run and gun fan. And yeah, that's it. That's the classic pistol.